Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to my first get ready with me. So in today's video, I'm gonna start by spraying my skin with my favorite Mario Badescu spray. This is the one with the aloe, chamomile, and lavender. And next, moving on to moisturizer. Uh, it's my first time trying this Thirst No More moisturizer by Formula 1006, but so far so good. It feels really, really good. One thing I do need to say though, it smells so good, like so good. For primer, I'm taking the Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm and working that into my skin. And then I'm taking the Tarte, Sha Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Tan Sand and working that into my eyelids and blending that out with my Real Techniques Blending Sponge. All right, to set me eyelids, I'm taking Patrick's Powder by MAC and Patrick Star, <laughs> and I'm applying that to my eyelids with my Real Techniques Beauty Blender. And now I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Ebony, and as you can see, I applied way too much, but don't worry, I'm just going to take a little bit away and then work the rest of that product into my brow, so no more product on that brow, <laughs> okay? Oh my God, you guys, I'm using the Salon Perfect Brow Marker. And yes, I love it now, um, just because I use it in addition to other brow products because I have like no brows. So if you guys watched my last video in which I reviewed this product, I only used it alone and I just really didn't like it because it was blotchy, but if you use it on top, it makes the perfect hair like strokes. So love, love, love. Here I'm taking a small concealer brush and cleaning up under and above my brows with the Tarte Shape Tape in Tan Sand. To finish off my brows, I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel and just combing them through. And then I'm taking the Anastasia and Amreezy Highlight, uh, which is my favorite highlight so far, and I'm just applying that under my brow bone. Next, moving on to eyeshadow, I'm taking the Morphe 35R palette and that kind of light, neutral transition shade and I'm applying that right in my crease using a fluffy brush. With a more dense brush, I'm taking that mustardy kind of brown tan shade and working that deeper into my crease. Next, with a small detailed blending brush, I'm just taking the dark brown neutral shade and blending that on the inner and outer corners of my eyes and kind of connecting it in the center. And then again, further blending all of that back out. And to further blend even more, I took that mustardy brown shade and a dual fiber brush and just kind of blended that black, bleh, blended that back out in the crease. For the center of my lids, I'm taking this Super Shock Shadow by ColourPop in the shade Millionaire. And I'm obsessed. I love the way this stuff looks, you guys, in person. It's beautiful. The camera's doing it no justice. Um, yeah, I'm just applying that with my fingers and blending it out with a dual fiber brush. Now for my favorite part of this eye look, I'm taking the Stila Glitter and Glow Eyeshadow in the shade Fairy Tale, and oh my God, I love it. 
It is like the most perfect champagne gold with like purpley rose gold pink flecks and glitter. It's just beautiful. And I'm um, just taking my little Morphe detailed blending brush and blending out the sides to make sure that they are all conducive and blended together. Zoe, Zoe, you're ruining, you're ruining it for me. Next for mascara, I'm taking the Maybelline Total Temptation in Blackest Black, and I'm just applying that just to my top lashes for now. I'm now taking the Tarte Amazonian Clay Gel Liner, and I'm just applying that to my upper waterline. And I was going to do a wing, but I don't know, I just decided against it this time. So I'm just applying it to my waterline. For lashes, I'm taking the Eyelore Luxe Silk in the Style Radiance, and they're pretty cool. And now I'm taking the Lancome Tent Idol uh, Foundation, and this is in shade 460 Suede, uh, my favorite foundation at the moment. For cream contour, I'm taking the LA Girl Pro Conceal, and this is in the shade Dark Coco, and I'm just applying that to my face and blending it out. Next for concealer, I'm taking my favorite NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Caramel, and I'm applying that to all the high points of my face. Next with my Real Techniques Beauty Blender, I'm just going to blend out all of that concealer. And as you can see, I like to leave my cream contour around the sides of my nose because I feel like when I apply my concealer, it just kind of helps to blend everything together without taking away too much of the nose contour. And taking Patrick's powder and applying that to all the areas I applied my concealer. So that's my forehead, under eyes, sides of my nose, smile lines, you know, under my cheekbones, just pretty much everywhere. For liquid highlight, I'm taking Makeup Revolution's Illuminating Drops in the shade Champagne. And I'm applying that to all the high points of my face. Here I'm just taking a beauty blender really quick and blending out my forehead and cheekbones because I feel like it blends out a little bit better when I use a sponge on those areas. But on my nose, I'm just going to use my finger to blend that out. To set my contour, I'm taking my L'Oreal True Match Powder in the shade Coco and applying that to my forehead, cheekbones, chin, and the sides of my nose. I wasn't going to use blush for this look, but I'm just taking Max Raisin and applying the slightest amount to my cheekbones. And now I'm just taking a small, flat, dense brush and a little bit of the powder contour. And I'm just applying that to the sides of my nose to just create a more pinched look. And then just blending out all of that setting powder. With a small detail brush, I'm taking that mustardy brown shade from the Morphe palette and I'm applying that to my lower lash line. Next with a flat detail brush, I'm taking the dark brown shade from the Morphe palette and I'm applying that to my lower lash line on the outer corner and just kind of sweeping it up to kind of create a very subtle 
wing effect. Taking that tart gel liner one last time, I'm applying it to my lower waterline and I'm just taking a pencil brush and blending all of that out and following it up with some mascara. And I almost forgot my inner corners, you guys, so I'm just taking a pencil brush and applying the Ambreezy highlight. And I also am going to apply that to the tip of my nose and the bridge as well. For lips, I really wanted to go for like a chocolatey brown color, so I'm taking NYX uh, lip liner in the shade brown and applying that. And then I'm gonna go over that with the NYX lip lingerie in After Hours. Y'all, if you have not tried this lip gloss, like, where have you been, okay? This is the new Urban Decay Ultra Cushion Lip Gloss in the shade Shadow Heart, and it has stolen my heart. I love it. Um, and now I'm taking the Amrazy highlight and applying that to my cheekbones, Cupid's bow, chin, kneecaps. All right, and to lock everything in and set it all, I'm just taking that Mario Badescu spray one last time. And yeah, you guys, this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my face, if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. I'll love you forever and ever. And yeah, don't mind me. I'm just jamming out to the Black Panther soundtrack. So I'll be doing that for a little while. Um, in the meantime, guys check out my social media and until next time i'll see you in my next video goodbye